Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am super fired up today. We're going to be doing a product review for a set of speakers from a company called Edifier here in North America. Uh, they got in touch with me after I had uh, posted my office tour video, which if you haven't seen, I'll link here. They really liked the images that I took in the video, so they had asked me if there was any products I'd be interested in checking out, and I have had my eye on uh, one of their home theater pairs for a while, the S360 dBs. Uh, they're a 2.1 channel setup, a uh, nice pair of stereo speakers and a subwoofer, and uh, I have a sound bar in my living room that I've been using, and it's, 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 it was an entry-level sound bar. I've had it for about 10 years. Did the trick for a while, but, you know, it's, it, it's not the best, and I've been looking to upgrade it for some time, so I was really excited that they reached out to me, and uh, they sent this my way. So that being said, this is a sponsored video. Uh, Edifier is letting me keep these speakers, but that in no way is going to impact my review. Um, all my reviews on electronics and products are going to be something I take very seriously. Uh, I don't want to steer anyone in the wrong direction. Uh, electronics, th these are things that I really, really care about and I get really passionate and fired up about. So anything that I suggest or recommend to you uh, is something that I truly believe in and that I feel is going to be a good purchase for you. So that being said, if these wind up being products that you're interested in checking out, I'll have a link to them in the description below. Uh, this will link to my Amazon Affiliates account, which will give me a small commission at no extra cost to you. Helps me fund the channel and uh, make more videos and provide more reviews for you. So uh, let's take a look at these. I'm so excited to, to dive into these. So let's check it out. I really want to thank Edifier for sending these out to me. I've really been looking forward to checking out these speakers for a while now, and this is very exciting. So the packaging is very simple. Comes with some cables, it looks like. Uh, we've got the remote control. Bit of a strange design. You've got your instruction manuals and warranty cards and all that sort of standard, standard packaging. They actually include uh, an optical cable, which is a very nice touch. Okay, now getting into the speakers, we've got the two speakers and the subwoofer. So we have 150 watts of total power in the system. It's Bluetooth 4.1, connects very easily, and has I've had no problems at all with the uh, connectivity. It's been rock solid. The wood cabinets really help reduce excess sound. First thing you notice here is the styling. They're very well designed speakers. They also have a really good amount of weight to them. So you can tell there's some really good quality building materials here. Very well put together. So these speakers have a power supply built into them. design of that tweeter. That grill on the tweeter is amazing. There's something very satisfying about peeling stickers off. I don't know what it is. But it's very gratifying. So on the back we've got all of the inputs. Uh, optical, speaker out, and the power on and off. Subwoofer's nice and heavy. So this is an 8 inch subwoofer, it's individually powered, so that means it's uh, running off its, its own running off its own power source. And it connects wirelessly to the other two speakers via Bluetooth, and receives the bass signals from those. Exhaust port for the air to come out of the subwoofer.
So the remote control is my least favorite part of this whole thing. Uh, it's just an odd setup. It's It feels very heavy and durable and like a good quality, but I, I'm just not a fan of the way the buttons are laid out. It's hard to get a grasp on. I'm just not big on the design of it. Nice of them to include some gold-plated standard AV jacks. And uh, this optical cable is a really great touch. Here's power supply for the subwoofer. The speaker cables are really unique. These are really thick wires, and I love the connection ports. So we have 4-inch mid-range and tweeter combinations on each. That really gives you a nice balance of sound, especially with the subwoofer. That 8-inch subwoofer really kicks. Volume knobs for the treble and bass, uh, they have, they're really clicky and very satisfying. This is a very well constructed item. We have several inputs to connect the speakers to. These stands I got from Amazon, they're really great. I'll link them below, they have really great wire management. Okay, so now that we've gone through some of the more technical aspects of these speakers, uh, audio is something I've always been very passionate about since I was a kid even. Um, as soon as I was old enough to get my first job, I remember being 15 years old and saving up uh, paycheck after paycheck to, to get those new uh, Optimus speakers from Radio Shack. And that's what I built my first surround sound system on by splicing it into like an old crappy tape deck system <laughs> from that everyone had lying around in like their grandparents basement um, by splicing wires together and stuff like that and then moving on to you know bigger and better sound systems and then getting into things like Bose and uh, eventually like JBL Bauer Bowers and Wilkins and stuff like that so um, I, I've really always been very passionate about audio and being able to review a product as great as this uh, gets me very excited because Edifier as a company is I feel a brand that not too many people are familiar with and I really think you should familiarize yourself with them because they are making absolutely top-end products. These speakers as just even a 2.1 setup far surpass the audio quality of any soundbar in any price category I've ever listened to. I also feel that these can stand up with some of the best 5.1 or 7.1 surround systems I've heard. Uh, you're not going to get that surround effect because it's just you know a pair of stereo speakers but the clarity that you get is, uh, is is just unsurpassed. The the clarity of the audio is just so precise and it's just so crystal. Uh, I listen to a lot of varied music. Anything I threw at this, it handled exceptionally. Whether it was metal or classical or like some uh, synth wave, like it doesn't matter what you're throwing at this, it just adjusts beautifully to whatever sound you're listening to. Uh, the, the, the range of uh, frequency on the, the subwoofer is astounding. Um, I, I threw in a couple of different films as well as a couple of games. I threw in some Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, the, the hits are just so like punchy and dynamic. Um, Doom, I threw in the new Doom, Doom Eternal, and just every weapon sounds phenomenal, and they all sound so different. There was little bits of audio that I'd never even recognized before playing it uh, previously. I'm a big movie fan, and when you watch a lot of movies, one of the things that seems to be a constant wherever you go is the dialogue always gets drowned out, or it's, you know, like the, the ambient noise will always drown out dialogue, and it's hard to hear. It happens with every soundbar I've ever heard, and with these speakers, it was crystal clear. Everything was so beautiful and quiet when it needed to be. Like there's no noise interference. Uh, it's these are just such beautiful speakers. One of the films I used to put these to the test was 1917. Um, there's some great explosions and just sounds of war in this film, but it also has some really subtle and quieter scenes as well that these picked up amazingly. Uh, there's there's a scene where he walks out into a fiery town and just like the subtlety of the bass from the subwoofer uh, from the flames was was amazing. Uh, the new Godzilla vs Kong is coming out, so I wanted to rewatch uh, you know the other ones to get prepped up for it. So I threw in Godzilla 2014, and it's just it was blown away by the the frequent different frequencies that come through and just how punchy and crystal clear it is. 
uh, really there's like you can feel it like you can just actually feel it in your stomach while you're listening to it it's it's absolutely amazing uh, the guttural roars from Godzilla just like you can just hear them coming up through his stomach all the way through his mouth and just the the level and range that that transfers through is amazing so uh, whether it's movies music video games I think these can handle absolutely anything with just fantastic precision. I honestly cannot recommend these speakers enough to anyone out there who is possibly looking for a surround sound setup or a sound bar. Uh, I would scrap that and go for these instead. These retail for four, uh, 449 and you're not going to find anything in that price range that's going to be better than this. I can pretty much guarantee that. So again, I will have a link to these in the description below through my Amazon affiliate account. Uh, if these are something you're interested in purchasing, purchasing please do so through there. Helps me out and uh, doesn't cost you anything. And uh, again, like Edifier, uh, you know, familiarize yourself with them. Uh, get a pair of these for your computer, for your home audio. I can't recommend them enough. I'm really interested in seeing what uh, they do with wireless buds. They have a couple of pairs of those. And uh, I'd be interested in checking some of those out as well, like just to get a a broad range of what else they're capable of because so far this company's blown me away with everything they've done. So thank you for sticking around to check this out. I get really fired up when I talk about electronics and gear and uh, when we get into things like tutorials on filmmaking and lighting equipment and stuff like that, it'll, it'll be just as uh, enthusiastic, I'm sure. So that'll do for today. I hope that, uh, that you found this review helpful. And if you did, please uh, subscribe, like, and comment below. Uh, any feedback you give me is going to be helpful in making new videos. And, uh, you know, I'm, j I'm still getting used to this whole format in general. I'm used to shooting videos, not uh, sitting in front of them talking. So it's taking a little adjusting for me to get used to. But uh, I am working on it, and uh, I had a great time with this. And I really look forward to making more of this style of video. This is a lot of fun for me to do. And it's really something I'm very passionate and enthusiastic about. So uh, I look forward to sharing more of these with you down the road. So. Thank you again, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.